Hi guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another PUBG video. Today we're going over a couple of things, starting with a couple of bug fixes that were added today with a hotfix. And we're also going over some of the upcoming stuff from the PC version still to be added to the game. If this video is useful, a like is very much appreciated. We will start then with the hotfix. Fixed an issue where controller presets were not functioning correctly and fixed an issue where the minimap would sometimes pop up in the game lobby. So it's a very small hotfix, but those were the two changes that were applied. Other critical issues such as hitching and freezing at the start of a match are still being investigated. The devs are working to resolve the remaining issues and will provide an update as soon as possible. However, one final bit of info you should know on this hotfix is that some players are reporting that the first issue, the issue with the controller presets, hasn't actually resolved. So if you go into the game now after this update, then you should check your settings to make sure that they haven't reset. If they have, you will have to adjust them before starting a game. So those two bugs have been dealt with in a hotfix. Well, the first one kind of, and the second one definitely has, and that update is out right now. The other issues are being worked on. For the rest of this video, I want to talk about some of the upcoming features that are already applied to PC and will be coming to console in the next couple of updates. Starting with the Season 3 Survivor Pass wildcard. With it will come new cosmetics that are based on spy films. Wildcard works in much of the same way as previous Survivor Passes, with the main pass allowing everyone to earn rewards for free. The players who want to access more rewards, including new cosmetics, can purchase the Premium Survivor Pass for $9.99. Players have 10 weeks to complete as much of the pass as they can, earning rewards and coupons as they achieve new levels. In addition to what has already previously been done with Survivor Passes, they've adjusted the difficulty of missions overall and have added new series of challenging missions that revolve around your skills with certain weapons, and completing these missions will unlock special skins for those weapons. A new weapon mastery system has been added. It's kind of still in development this one, but it shouldn't be too long before we do see it on console. The weapon mastery is a brand new progression feature in PUBG with unique free rewards. The goal for weapon mastery is simple, give players an avenue for improving their weapon skills and celebrate the journey along the way. After weapon mastery goes live, you'll notice every weapon now has a series of levels that players can progress through by dealing damage and defeating opponents. You can progress through weapon mastery levels by earning weapon XP in matches. Hitting difficult shots, surviving longer and defeating more enemies will earn you weapon XP at a faster rate. After every 10 levels on a weapon, you will be promoted to the next mastery tier and there are 10 tiers in total. Gaining levels and tiers in weapon mastery will result in unlocking the rewards that the new system has to offer. The further you progress, the more there is to unlock. So the weapon mastery is a good idea, it will give you new rewards for your weapons and it encourages you to try out different weapons rather than just sticking with the same ones every time. But like I said, this one is still a work in progress, but they're going to develop it over time so it will release on console and then they will apply updates to the way it works, improving missions and rewards for it over time. And that is based on player feedback. The MP5K is still to be added, a new submachine gun. I went over that before, but it's still not in the game. And previously, when there's been new weapons, they've been delayed a little bit longer than most of the new content for some reason. But it's been a while now, and I'm sure we will see that pretty soon. All of the improvements to Erangal, where they have added in new map features, including a ton of new compounds to the map. So it's going to feel a lot different than it did before. To go with that, they've also added a loot rebalance update to increase the spawn rates of all the weapons. So the spawn rate of the assault rifles has been increased by 64%. The spawn rate of DMRs has been increased by 114%. The spawn rate of sniper rifles has increased by 177%. Spawn rates of equipment and armor have increased, especially level 2 stuff. And the spawn rate of items for healing has slightly increased as well. So all of those changes for Erangel is to quicken the match times a bit more. I think closer to 20 minutes rather than 30 is better. Not everyone will agree with that, but the devs definitely want to make the maps a bit more of a battlefield rather than a place where you just survive. The way they are doing this is to increase the spawn rates of weapons and making the maps a bit more dangerous. And I'm personally looking forward to those Erangel changes. Guys, progress for the game is slow, it always has been, but there are plenty of new features to look forward to in the next couple of updates. 
Let me know if you're looking forward to any of them in the comments below. I will be back soon with more news and update videos, probably not any more PUBG this week, as I think I've covered everything that there is to for right now. Hopefully we will have at least a hotfix update at some point next week to go over. Subscribe with notifications on to see videos as soon as they release, and I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out.